Hi YouTube, it's Lena and because I am sitting here with parts of my makeup missing, I'm doing December's, I know, uh, BoxyCharm tryout. The theme of it was whimsy and I initially received five makeup products but two I did not keep. Uh, I get the Boxy Lux. The Kat Von D Dragon Liner Tattoo, I don't use Kat Von D products so I got rid of that. And the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter was really pretty, but way too dark for my ass. Although, because I'm also testing a foundation from that I got from Influencer from Smashbox, it would actually probably work right now because this foundation is hella dark. Anyways, so the things I do have are the Storybook Cosmetics Briar Rose Palette, which I will be getting into in a second. The In Beauty Power Up Dual Face Setting Spray Mist. And the Too Faced Rich in Dazzling Lip Gloss. So we're gonna play with those. By the way, I am wearing something underneath this robe. <laughs> it's just really low. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring you up close and then we're gonna do my eyes, just knocking stuff down. So this is the Briar Rose Palette. And I will say the packaging it's adorable. It is very thick and like display piece rather than, you know, practical. It does come with a mirror inside. And here are the shades. I'm actually gonna be sticking to basically this row. Now I do have my eyeshadow primer down and I used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Cottage Cheese as a base just because that is the most, uh, it's the least, this is the thing least likely to change colors of eyeshadows because it is, because it is a uh, white. So it's just going to make them pop a little bit more, but it's not really going to change the color. All right. So I'm going to go in with the shade Castle right here. And I'm going to pop that on my lid after I find something to wipe my finger off. Just using an eyeshadow brush. This one is from e.l.f. I tried to do a padding motion to avoid fallout, but these are dusty. So I still got a little bit right here that I will see if I can dust off without getting it all over. I think I accomplished it. Anyways, next I'm going to go in with Briar Rose, which is this shade right here, and pop that into my crease. This is a fair brush that I got from Ipsy a while back. Very dusty. I did have to go in twice on each side to build up the color. So I didn't have to do that with the uh, shimmer shade. So maybe that's just a matte thing. Maybe that's just a that color thing. I don't know, Co color swipe thing. So for the outer edge, I'm gonna go in with Beauty, which is this right here. Fallout. Now this doesn't have a cream shade. Uh, the closest thing they have is Woodland right here, which it's a little too dark for me. So I'm just gonna go in with my own to blend out my crease some. make that a good deal softer. For the lower lash time lash line I'm gonna take beauty again. 
and just run it along the lower lash line. This is why I normally don't do my face makeup before my eyes, but I wanted to go ahead and have everything done before I got on camera today. But the shades are dusty. And finally, I'm going to take the shade Fairies and just pop it along my inner corner. So just taking a little pencil brush for that. Actually skipping eyeliner today so that I can really see how the shadows perform and just going in with some mascara. This is the Hank and Henry mascara that they sent me a couple of months ago, actually. And using the other side for the lower lash line. Because now I'm starting to really think I look wrong without mascara on my lower lash line. So I've just gotten into the habit of doing it. Ugh, this foundation is so yellow, it's driving me crazy. Like, I'm neutral leaning warm and this is way too yellow for me. And patchy. So that is the eye look, which it's really pretty. Overall, for okay, overall, as super first impression is concerned, I'd say that the shimmers are a bit on the dusty side, but that's the only problem with them. The matte is a bit dusty too, but you also have to build it up. So I'm not sure if this is worth 55 bucks. We'll see about the staying power though. So I'm gonna back out. I'm going to apply this, what is this called exactly? Too Faced Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss. Mine is in the shade Crazy Rich. Here's a swatch right here, because I had to swatch that awkwardly or it wouldn't be me. Pretty pigmented, honestly. And it smells really good. I know this isn't going to stay all day on its own, but... It's sticky, but not like gloppy. Oops, wrong. I was grabbing the wrong thing. And finally, we're going to go in with this In Beauty Power Up Dual Face Setting Spray, which it does have, like, a different thing on top. So... And trust me, this dry-ass foundation needs some moisture. It does smell really good. So that's a quicker one than usual, honestly. I usually have some kind of at least cheek product to apply as well, but I'm just going to wear this all day and come back at you at the end of the night and let you know really how the eyeshadows lasted because that's really the only thing that I think is going to really have serious wear time. I do like this. I've been using it just on my skin lately just because it gets hot a lot and that's one of the things that I use these for. It's to glow, hydrate, and energize and trust me. This foundation, the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Covers 24 Hour Foundation, it needs some hydration because it's it's, it should be something I do like, like it, as far as like at least, you know, matteness and wear time is concerned, but I don't love it, so I'll be back at the end of the night. Okay, I'm back. It's the end of the night. I have a bills, because who keeps trying to eat off of stuff? You do. You do. She's trying to get into everything, so we have a bills. <laughs> All right, so what are my end of the day thoughts? Well, the eyeshadow stayed looking pretty good. I was actually a little bit surprised. And the thing is, I really like the color story. Like, I do like my blues and my kind of, <laughs> honey, 
Why don't you set it like that? I do like the blues and like the rosier shades. These are not the greatest quality of eyeshadows, but I mean, they're pigmented other than a little bit in my crease now that I'm looking really close. They didn't really go anywhere. I mean, I certainly wouldn't pay $55 for this, but I wouldn't turn another one down from Storybook Cosmetics if I got another one in a box or something like that. So, it's definitely worth using, worth playing with. I'm just not sure if I would want to pay that much money for it, even though, I mean, a lot of the money is because of the packaging, obviously. It looks like a big old book. I'll see. The gloss. I do really like the gloss. Like, it's a really pretty kind of duochrome color. It does have a bit of shimmer in it that you can feel on your lips when you reapply. Like, it, the shimmer just kind of builds up. But um, other than that, it's really pretty. It does smell really good. It smells... What was that smell again? No, you can't eat it. I can't quite put my finger on the smell, but it's definitely something sweet. I'm not sure if it's candy or maybe bakery type sweet, but it's something. And I mean, I do like the spray. I think it'll make a good like powder settler spray. Obviously it doesn't keep me matte, but it doesn't say it's gonna keep me matte. To set makeup, energize, and revive skin. Well, let's revive some skin right now because I still hate this foundation. It does feel and smell really good, so. And it's got a good mister on it, so I have no complaints about it. How much is that? $32? Okay, I wouldn't pay $32 for that, but I probably would pay like 20. Like, this is something that I would have to catch on sale because it's a little expensive for what it is. But, yeah. It does feel really, really nice. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. She appreciates it too, even though she doesn't know so. And uh, hopefully we will see you later. Bye.